5G um, is going to um, require a lot of investment and we need to see where's the business side of that. So I, in my talk I gave two examples and of course in like you know in the talking before in the, in the summit or in the panels there was a, um, a statement of AT Salat saying I already have 200% subscription, it's not going to be a new mobile phone, it's going to be either um, connected campus sites or it's going to be smart stadiums but we need to look at really business cases. We need to use our TM form curate FX tools to see where's the margin or where's, where's the business. So this is going to be B2B2X business models, platform business models, where I'm not going to sell my stuff to my customers, but third-party stuff to third-party customers maybe also. So if you look already at the examples that I give of T-Mobile US, we're the largest retailer of tickets. Why? Tickets is ultra light and laser sharp. We can put it immediately on your mobile phone and you can get access to the stadium even on a few hours before. We'll have reserved seats, we'll have all the extras. So we're coming from a mobile operator you never want to call to a mobile operator you always want to call because you want to go to your favorite game, to your favorite like, you know, concert, what have you. What we also can do, if we can't make it to the concert, we have live nation streaming, so at home with uh, 4G, but of course coming up with 5G, at home you can enjoy the concert as if you were there. So video, mobile, social, it's all there for you. We do, uh, with TM Forum, we work in three categories. So business modeling, very important, so that we use QDATEFX. Of course, like, you know, we talked all the time about open APIs. Um, very, very important for if you start to do an ecosystem, it needs to be standardized, open APIs, it's a sanity check, needs to be there. And then the large part is, of course, the maturity model, where are we digitally against the OTT players? And even more important, get people on um, Catalyst projects because Catalyst projects help people to realize the things that they don't know yet. So I learn a lot when conversations go on between my revenue assurance lady and the gentleman who do, does it at BT, and then like, you know, the magic starts to happen, and I start to receive tasted information, and then I know from my perspective what I need to cater for my people. That's very important.